And when you come here and you do things that disturb animals, like getting drunk, I mean, that's why we ban alcohol. Didn't even know it, like, you did. You rented from KSK, yeah. and you had to sit through a video where they said no alcohol. Okay. okay? You had to sign a contract yeah. that said no alcohol. Okay. I didn't. Okay. I did not catch you with these with the alcohol, but I, I see it now. Yeah. So I'm letting you know that we're going to dump this. Yeah. And I'm going to be turning it in a report. There will not be another break in any case. Again, I didn't catch you with the alcohol. I was, I was doing something else. I was trying to help save somebody. No booze, no dogs, no fires, no camping on Oahu offshore islands. These islands are for the birds. Each year, thousands of Kama Aina and visitors sail by kayak, stand up paddle board, and other watercraft to geological features off the windward coast of Oahu, known as the Oahu offshore islands. More than a dozen small islands serve as a refuge for native seabirds, plants, and insects. Their ecological importance makes them part of the Hawaii State Wildlife Sanctuary System, managed by the Department of Land and Natural Resources Division of Forestry and Wildlife. Urbanization of nearly the entire coast of Oahu makes the offshore islets critically important for the survival of numerous native species. The stability and continued survival of seabird populations on Oahu are directly linked to human management. Wind here. All right, be careful, there are thorns here. All right. More than half of the state-managed wildlife sanctuaries on Oahu are closed to people. The others, like Mokalua North, are open, but with restrictions. The Moks, as they are known locally, are twin islands off Kailua and Lanikai beaches. Only the one-hump Mokalua North is open to people. The Twin Hump Mokalua South is one of the closed wildlife sanctuaries. This is an extremely popular destination for boaters of all skill levels. The no alcohol, no dogs, no camping, and no fire rules are designed to achieve a balance between resource protection and public enjoyment and recreation. Officers with the DLNR Division of Conservation and Resources Enforcement, or DOE Care, have a zero tolerance policy with violators. If you break the rules, you'll be cited, have to make a court appearance, and pay a sometimes hefty fine. So, this is a criminal citation for possession of alcohol in an animal sanctuary. Okay, okay we have a zero tolerance because it gets crazy out here and it disturbs the animals. Right. That's why this is a people place that we allow animals, not an animal place that, I mean, it's an animal place that allows people, right. not the opposite. So, we're very serious about it. It's all in the name of protecting the native species on this islet and the others. Volunteer groups frequently assist in controlling invasive plants and insects, and, and no one likes to see their hard work the impacted station. or diminished by people who Just choose to disregard or ignore the restrictions. It's a criminal offense. So I'm detaining you and I'm going to be seizing the alcohol. I'll be issuing you criminal citations. On this busy Saturday afternoon, Doe Care Officer Ken Lesperant spots a half dozen kayak groups who've come to Mokalua North with coolers full of beer. Any more than you do, but if I let a crook walk away with a thing, they break, no, I cannot take that. He explains that enforcement actions are designed to allow everyone to enjoy the experience of being in a bird sanctuary without negatively impacting the birds that nest on the interior of the island. Clearly marked paths on the shoreline are the only places visitors are allowed to walk. Disturbing the birds is a no-no. I, I have I said right to you a couple now. times, we got a zero tolerance policy. Even for people who had Conservation Control 249. If you plan to visit any of the Oahu offshore islets, we encourage you to be sure your intended destination is open. Landing on a closed island will get you a citation. Know the rules and restrictions, and be sure you have boating safety equipment and have filed a float plan with someone on shore. This is important whether you're novice or experienced and whether you are renting a boat or using your own. And be mindful that you are a visitor. These islands are truly for the birds.